Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic with your host Kirby Kidd and Black Superman. Also known as David Clark and Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about Marvel's The Agents of Shield Episode Two. Yeah, now Episode Two was pretty awesome. We get to watch their uh, group fall apart basically because because it, it, it's a it's it, a Marvel story, so they always yeah. fall apart and then come back. And then they come together at the end and do awesome things. And does Lee ever fall apart? Yeah. No, I mean like the core group, like the, 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 the three, the three that matter. You mean like when Superman was trying to kill Batman and... Uh, His true self? Yes, I remember that. Yeah, and like Green Lantern thought he was able to stop him yeah, until I Superman just, walked I, through. I just brought that up so that you would you would point out one of Superman's uh, greatest failures. Anyways. That so, was a failure. That was that was the most awesome Superman. He killed ever. Shazam! He didn't kill him. He put a laser through his face. Well, I, okay, in injustice, he killed him. But I'm not That's talking about. That I wasn't talking about injustice. I was talking anyways, about Justice League. Anyways, okay, we're, so, we're talking about the agents of Shield. So, um, they they go to this uh, place in I think it's Peru, right? Yeah, Peru. yeah. They go to Peru, and there's like this uh, little temple thing, and there's a piece of like tech that that uses the tesseract, which is the um, the cosmic cube, uh, and it looks like it possibly has uh, connections to Hydra, mm-hmm. um, even though it's they said it was there for like 1,500 years, but. I guess the Tesseract can, can, can manipulate time. Like that. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah, there, there's no no real, way of way yeah. of telling that. Um, of course, it gives out gamma radiation because anything that's important in Marvel gives off gamma radiation. I mean, like you could probably eat a sandwich that gives off gamma <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> in that universe. Um, so then they uh, they are under fire by these uh, Peru dudes who are like, we wanted, and they're like, mm-hmm. nah, we're not giving it to you. And there's some chick there who apparently Coulson. Was uh working with uh, yeah <laughs> when he was younger <laughs> yeah they were yeah it was, they, they, there was no work done there was no work whatsoever they did nothing other than themselves yeah, well, yeah, that, well that that's that's at least what she implied and according yeah. to Colson well whatever they did was classified yeah <laughs> uh, yeah classified so yeah um, they get captured because uh, they apparently they like they, they bring them onto the, onto the uh, the plane and obviously they were spies or. They wanted to betray them mm. or something, and then the group comes together and they're like, "Oh, we're gonna." What's her name? What did they call the the Chinese chick? The cavalry. The or... cavalry. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that was that was awesome. That, yeah. Like, like she's got her hands tied behind her back, or or, 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 or they're handcuffed behind their backs, right? Yeah. She just breaks and her she, wrist. She and... yeah, dislocates her wrist, pulls her hand out of the handcuffs, and goes and kicks the crap out of one of the guards, and goes, "Okay, now what's next?" Yeah. Because they had to come up with a plan to get out, and so they're like, "Okay, first we got to get free." Right. So she got free. Yeah, she decided, and then like, but early in the episode, they had a pretty good uh, little interchange where she was talking to uh, the other male agent guy, mm-hmm. and she, he's like, "Why don't you carry a gun?" She's like, "If I need a gun, I will just take one." <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> and then earlier, and then later on, she just took two guns with the guys. Is like, yeah. Yeah, I did that. That just happened right now. <laughs> yeah, because she's like she's really awesome um, on this show. I mean, she's been terrible on other shows, but mm-hmm. on this show, she is freaking awesome. Terrible as an actor or terrible as a character? Um, terrible as a character. She was one of the characters from ER. She was one of the nurses. Uh, no, one of the doctors on ER. She mm-hmm. uh, fell in love with the black doctor, got pregnant by him, left. Wow. Yeah. You sucked. At one time, yeah, but now she's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So then uh, they beat him up. They blow. They blow a hole in the uh, the the plane. And and here's one thing I don't I, I didn't like when the guy the bad guys were getting sucked out of the plane. Like the shield agents were trying to help them. What? Shield don't help nobody. Yeah, no, no. That should have. They should have immediately let them fly out. Shield the would push you. They'd go. Give me your info. All right. Is that all of it? Cool. Bye. <laughs> yeah, that should have that should have definitely been execution style. Yeah, like except for the leader because the leader Big not leader. only did Colson tagger, but you yeah, know, Colson's that, like I may get one more out of this. Yeah, but they also <laughs> you know should take her just because she, she knows some stuff. She yeah. knows things. Uh, and then they ba- they basically most of the episode is just them getting captured and breaking out. Mm-hmm. Um, then uh, they basically uh, they give the tesseract thing device over to I. Something called a slingshot. Don't know what it is. Oh no, they shoot rockets. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, what it seemed like they were shooting it into space. Probably. Actually, I think into the sun. The, the whole. I was going to say into the sun. Yes, the, the the MVP of comic books, <laughs> the sun. If you cannot kill something or deal with somebody, chuck them into the sun. Yeah, that doesn't work out very well for Goku. Anyway, um, <laughs> but there's a uh, you know they they pointed out the fact that. No one is, should have this on Earth, and this is how we know that this shield is not real. Shield, shield will take it. Shield would have kept it. 
Like they said, they're like, yeah, they still might have. They might have told everybody, yeah, we sent the space. Nah, man, we made an armor out of that, or or at least some schematics or something. They, this is the same shield that took the destroyer and turned it into a gun. Yeah, they ain't give that thing back. You and they didn't send it to space, or they yeah. fully analyzed it and then gave it back and then made their own, which is possible. That's yeah, possible because that way they're the good guys and the bad guys, <laughs> <laughs> which seems more likely. Yeah, because I mean Nick Fury. Oh, speaking of Nick Fury. Nick Fury shows up. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Nick Fury, um, he's, like, a really cool character when it's the Samuel L. Jackson Nick Fury. The the, the white guy Nick Fury from the comic he books. He scares is, me. <laughs> he scares me. I, I mean, he's like James Bond on steroids. Like, but he, uh, the Nick Fury one... Uh, the the uh, the the Samuel L. Jackson Nick Fury. He's more like this really like your your really cool uncle yeah. who would also shoot you. Yeah, so. he came in. He's like, what happened to my plane? <laughs> There's a really nice bar over here. <laughs> it's really nice. And he would seem really broken up over yeah, the bar. Yeah, he, he, he's like, oh yeah, you're alive. But more so, my plane <laughs> is jacked up beyond repair. And, and then like, he's yeah, the, the the funny line where he's like, you know, fix it exactly like you found it. No fish tank. Don't put a fish tank. <laughs> hey, at least. Cancel the fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to go. I, mean, I, think that, I, 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 I like the fact that he came on. Um, the acting is still a little spotty. Yeah, I mean they're gonna have to learn how to grow in, into the roles. But the fact that Nick Fury came on means movie cameos are not out of the out of the question. Which is something that we had been wondering, like yeah. whether or not you'd be able to see a cameo of of um, like Bruce Banner yeah. or, or Banner's probably next because they've been running into a lot of gamma alien crap that they don't understand. I mean, because isn't the, uh, the the thing from the first episode that the black guy had, the centipede, mm-hmm. that's Gamma too. Yeah. It's Gamma with Captain America's serum, which I believe is Banner's ultimate specialty. <laughs> yeah, that, that was how he became the Hulk. Hulk. Yeah. yeah so, so, maybe maybe the black guy is being worked on by Banner right now and Banner's showing him how to control his rage. Possibly. Or, I mean, even if, even if it's not, the fact of the matter is they're, they were talking about doing an Incredible Hulk TV show. Yeah. Now, we've already seen, as is going to be from Arrow, that they're going to backdoor pilot the Flash this using maybe, Arrow. How, so they could backdoor pilot the Hulk using right. the shield. Now, how cool would it be if they have him on for like a few episodes of just Banner, and then like they say, oh no, Hulk's too expensive to put on. And then like for a season finale, he just hulks out on TV. That would rock. Yes, that would be possibly the greatest moment in comic book history on television. And then they say, you know, watch out for the Hulk right. next season right. on NBC. Coming next uh, on or NBC. like at the end of the season, we're just him hulking out and screaming at the screen, and then blackout right there, like, oh! I mean, because you, you know if he, if he comes out, they won. I mean, that's not a cliffhanger. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so that means that movie cameos are possible. That's great. Now, one other thing, uh, me and uh, Jen, you've seen him on a few videos. Uh, you actually saw him on the Agents of Shield video. Um, we had a we have a little bet going. There's a theory out there right now that Coulson actually died, and he's an LMD, a life model decoy. I believe he's probably either the Vision or he's just back to life normal. What do you think? Well, I believe that he may be um, an android or something because spoiler alert. Um, the Clark Gregg, the guy who plays Coulson, um, has been hinting at the fact that in the next movie, he's the Vision. Yeah, he's been retweeting stuff and liking stuff, and I mean, so because he he's got the the way the Vision acts down. <laughs> I mean, he can he can do the emotionless crap no problem. Plus, everyone loves him, so I mean, really, he could just be whatever he can act. How, he can act the Vision however he wants. Yeah, they and actually they could bring him in as the Vision and then still have him walking around as Coulson, and no one will care. Yeah. I mean, no one will care. Or it could be like a, a, a robot project called Project Vision. Like they can do a lot of things to get around it, but people like the Vision and people love Coulson. And, and the more you involve Coulson in things, the more happy we are. <laughs> so, I mean, there's no really bad way to go about that. Yeah, you know, actually, one of, the, one of my favorite lines from the Avengers happened to be about Coulson. You mm-hmm. know, when uh, Tony Stark was like, Coulson was a human his first name is Phil his first name is Agent oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tony Stark to, to Pepper yeah. his first name is Agent you do not call him <laughs> Phil <laughs> but uh I mean well, speaking about the, the Avengers though I love the constant integration because you you know this is the same world mm-hmm. you know you know the whole, the whole thing about the common enemy that's a common trend from the Avengers the uh, yeah. uh t- mentioning like like in the episode when they're like oh so what was the, what was the last time you had an 084 oh it was a hammer like ah I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, which, which is funny because, like, Smallville, Smallville was on TV for 10 years, and 
the moment they took it off TV, it no longer exists. Now, the, the universe that's happening right now, Smallville Superman is never going to show up in it. If Superman or Clark Kent ever shows up, it's going to have to be the guy who plays Man of Steel. Uh, Man yeah. of Steel. It's not, you know, so, Smallville, 10 years, God bless you, Tom Welling, bye-bye. Um, so, it's really cool that they're making, a, making an effort to say, look, this is the exact same, same universe, episode yeah. with the ex- this universe with the exact same people. And I love the fact that this is the universe, this is the world post aliens attacking New York. So now everyone knows stuff is up. Mm-hmm. Like there's almost no reason to even be secret about crap because they're like, dude, look, we know. We, I mean, I was there. I saw it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the unless you do like a Michael Bay rewrite, like from Transformers Two. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> where everybody saw anyway, Optimus Prime destroy In the, destroy in the, in the LA episode, in the episode of Agents of Shield, the much better show. <laughs> He said, Do you remember that one time where that gravity destroying meteor landed on the coast of uh, Florida? He's like, No, huh, exactly. exactly. So that, they're still keeping stuff secret. They're still trying to, you know, keep stuff hidden and whatnot, which is going to come into play because at the end of the episode, you saw, I think her name is Skylar or Sky. Mm, Sky. The chick who's not part of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, she got a message from the Rising Tide saying, basically, we're going, we're going dark. Are you in? And she's like, Yeah, because I'm a terrible person. <laughs> she'll end up, of course, betraying them to go with S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, Look, he, the Rising Tide, it's easy to just post videos of the Hulk or Iron Man going crazy or whatever, but you don't know anything about what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like, and I, and the, guy, the guy brought it up. It's not, it's it's really cool to type that stuff from the safety of your van. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually out here. Like, like that, that dude may run into a Hulk. <laughs> and he thinks he can take him out. Yeah. That's really not going to happen. That's not going to happen but at all. He, I mean, he, may, he may convince a Hulk to not hurt him. <laughs> But I mean, but I, I think it's going to be a nice learning process for. Her. And of course, she's the she's the love interest because they're going to be training her how to fight next episode, which is going to lead them to kissing or something. Maybe, but then again, or I, Calvary, you know, yeah, cause, or both, because yeah, he seems because he, he seems to be very very in trouble. Yeah, with her. I mean, she will hurt him. I mean, because because oh, like she's probably she's one of his heroes. Yeah, and she's hot, and she's, she's right so there. Hot. Yeah. Oh, she's she's hot. Yeah, yeah. seriously, like. For sure, like, <laughs> like really, yes. <laughs> but uh, so that's what happened in Agents of Shield. That's our theory on the Coulson thing, and we're really excited. I mean, it's really cool. I mean, just to see stuff like this happening on on TV, on ne- network television. Yeah. By the way, I think we mentioned in the earlier video that I have not watched uh, Modern Family, which is on the same channel as Agents of Shield. I have recently um, watched Modern Family, and it is the world's greatest TV show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I actually, I actually paused an episode of Modern Family to come record this episode right now. And but it's still I, ready to. Play. Oh, it's still because once they're done with this, I'm gonna go continue watching it because USA is actually showing uh, Modern Family five nights a week, like four or five episodes. I, I, I've already seen season one <laughs> and the premiere of season five since the last time we mentioned this on on video. It's amazing. I love the show. Now, before we go, and since we were talking about um, agents of agents of Shield. Okay, and Avengers Assemble, and I only want to bring up this one thing. Okay, Thor got Hulk powers and got punked by the Hulk. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. That, that, that was awesome. And Hulk was like, he owes me five bucks when he wakes up. <laughs> and I love the end of the episode, if you saw it, where you know they, everyone realized that it's not easy being a Hulk. And that he really is the strongest one there is. Mm-hmm. And it was, a, it, was, it was really nice. I mean, it was as deep as that show is ever going to get. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That that show is not gonna ever be that deep. Because kids again. can't even follow. I, I'm sure kids were lost on that one. They're like, "What? Why is he strong?" Because like, because it's it's not the physical thing he's talking about right there. Yeah, that was a willpower thing. <laughs> yeah. but, but of course, the only time any time any kid ever thinks about willpower is with Green Lantern, which was canceled. Anyways, by the way, Arrow <laughs> next week. Finally, yeah. And this, apparently tonight there was a season one recap. Also, at the end of it, they were going to show a little bit of season two, which we didn't see because it aired while we were filming this. So you should feel really lucky because we didn't see that because of y'all. I mean, we're going to. We it. had DVR. I mean, yeah, we're, we didn't see it live, but we didn't see it live. Like, and if you saw it, do we hate you? But we love you. Please subscribe. <laughs> And share. <laughs> share. Share. Yeah, share. Please share. Because we have a lot of likes and favorites and comments and subscriptions. Yeah. And, and we, we like to talking to you guys, too. Yeah, yeah, we like talking to you, but we don't have any shares. Like, I don't know what the difference between liking and sharing and favoriting is, but um, I, I want some. <laughs> <laughs> so, give me shares. <laughs> I mean, even if it's just only one of you guys, just, just one share. I mean, we're not greedy. Just want one. Just 
one little share. Um, but that's basically it for, for right now. Yep, basically. I mean, we have we've been off topic. We've been back on topic. We've been off topic. Yeah, again. we don't have any Titan right now. So, <laughs> but uh, until next time, and next time's gonna be amazing because next week is gonna be just so much. Also, we're starting new mangas. We're starting uh, new, right, new, new anime. Yes, the fall anime season begins this week. We have three animes that we're that we're thinking of following. Uh, we're not going to tell you which which ones they are because it's a it's a surprise. You'll see the videos pop up, obviously, mm -hmm. and whatever one of those videos gets the most views will be the one we follow in Titan's absence. Until next time, we've been your host Kirby Kid and Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. Share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not so great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. We have nothing funny to say for the after part. <laughs> nope. Uh, unfortunately. That will be the part I put in there. <laughs>